One of the stuff in there. The green for the collectors in there. Oh. For the, for the arrows. Got you. I said, but I should tell you, so you don't think that, but he didn't know that, that the car came already here with the dash outside, and we just mm -hmm. put the wiring on the dash. Got it. And then, um, now, now I gotta get like a, like a Russell uh, grade, oh, graded. Man. Because uh, this thing's falling on top of that. Yeah, that's what I got, had, the Russell braided. The guy had this, this horrible fuel line that i never seen before. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, no, no. no. <laughs> As a matter of fact, that looks like it's for the PC. No, it looked like that was a G GM crate motor. That was a GM crate motor. That looks like a yard hose. So, so, so when this car came over here, mm -hmm. when this car came over here, the guy took the fuel line, and they didn't know, and I said, what the heck is the fuel line doing? It's running up here. Not wow. on the pump, and then I asked the guy. I said, "Let me ask you, what happened to the pump? They had a block of plate. A block of uh, plate for the mechanical. I don't know. There goes my fuel line. I said, "How's it gonna pump fuel in there?" And it's blocked off. And, and, and no, they they took the fuel line. They had it going into the carburetor straight. No fuel pump. Oh what? <laughs> That's crazy. So so this wiring, this is that American Auto wiring, and it comes all pieces. Uh huh. And it comes like this, yeah. And you gotta make everything. So I had to make every you. every end to every piece of the wiring. Yeah, that all wiring the this, yeah. and every connector and everything. So I put that that fan in there because he wanted a fan because he didn't he didn't yeah, have. Look at that. That looks nice. And I had to put the uh, the uh, all the the training lines and everything. Well, what motor is this, right? That's a 350, 330 horse crate GM motor. Okay. It's got a TCI 400, and it wow. has a Moja. It had a 10 bolt uh, garbage rear. Uh -huh. Uh, that it looked like sending somewhere to get it done. This Jamaican guy convinced him to do it. He wanted to just get a new rear. But now, you know, we, we convinced him we got a Moser with a 355. Oh, wow, 355 gear ratio. Yeah, you know Moser, right? Oh, yeah, Moser. Do you That's see the right. bottom? Oh, that is so cool. Yeah. See the bottom of it? Back. What's down there? See the rear end, the one that it has in there. Oh, the Moser. Yeah, that looks sweet. I gotta clean mine off. Um, Turbo C told me it's the exhaust ending at my rear, and it's got my case, my rear cover dirty like that. Yeah. All right, so yes, sir, Ralph. I want to say you're the first mechanic to touch my car. The first professional that touched my car that did not rape me, screw me, other than Tyrone Taylor. You and Tyrone Taylor, the real guys that that that, that got me right. You know? I, I, I love coming here from now on. She's bringing her RAV4 here. All the other guys that touched that's fired. And thank you, sir. <laughs> I honestly appreciate it. No more parasites. No more parasites. You hear that, Joy Z2K? The parasites. <laughs> Parasitic draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take turn. Right, take take it, it easy. <laughs> you know my father was a car guy too, so I'm so used to it. All right. I, like I said, I have a '66 Corvette, and I did that 10 years ago, and it got sidepiped. My wife only got in that car once because she said really? it draws too much attention, and she doesn't. Yeah, I can dig it. So, so to. Too bad, you know, before I knew my wife, I knew her sister. Maybe she liked cars. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Oh, and, and the Reggie Jackson. Can you give me a brief on that Reggie Jackson? I it's meant to do it. It's a 70 Hemi Cuda, the 426 Hemi Reggie Jackson car. Yes. And, uh, you know, they, they pay 75 grand to restore it, and they did uh -huh. garbage work on the carburetor. So we took the carburetors to Allstate Carburetor. Yeah, now. I saw that carburetor. Yep. So it's a, and the bumpers, the bumpers that were over uh, here. 56 Buick that was Master. 56 Buick Road. And that came, that came in winter already. I missed yeah. that. Oh my God! That's you what I really to wanted for v8buick.com. So, you want to say hello? This guy's a, a Tito from the Jacksons' his nephew, right? Here. <laughs> Jackson Five. Tito Jackson Five. <laughs> he's not looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, he's not right. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see you Monday. Okay. What time of Monday should we come, Ralphie? Ralphie, tell her I'm on She's asking him, in Spanish. <laughs> Oh, tell Ralph I said thank you for the trim. Thank you for the hood trim, Ralph. Uh, Buick Torque. Buick Torque. Yeah. Oh, yeah.
Let me go in here. Oh, this is the place. This is the place. And there's the number. 718-388-2310. Ralph's the man. Buick Torque on YouTube. Torque, T-O-R-Q-U-E. Or you can even go into Buick 455 Regal and it all comes up. All right, thanks. Buick Performance Group, Turbo Steve. I'm gonna let the car start and warm up, but uh, let me pause the video for now, just so I can save that time. You see, she's filming, filming. <laughs> she's messing with it already. You see that, Ralph? Wait, it's, it's, it's recording. Okay. Hey, Ramsey, come over here. <laughs> Film this guy. Look, this guy driving a '72 Barracuda. No, '70 Barracuda for two, for since it was. Really? Since '72, a convertible. Oh, for real? Because Ralph, he jokes. He, he, let's show you the mode on this. Look. Matter of fact, let me start it up. Sylvia's boy. <laughs> yes, sir. I was a kid coming from public school crossing to the walks over there, and I always saw the car. I used to when I was a kid back in the day, they still got the car. Oh, man, that's like, I didn't know they made the Barracuda and a Cuda. This guy told me about that two years ago about the Cuda also. That's nice. Yeah. How many miles it has on it? so much trouble. I'll hold on to this. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, All right Ralph. <laughs> so silly. Don't film me. Ralph said, my fans, with the um, brand new Ron Francis dual fan control switch, he said, my fans, come on between 170 and 180, the first fan, but I'm going to monitor it more myself. And all my gauges and attack, let's give it a test. The light comes on for that, the hood, and these. You see? That's the way it was with the appropriate fuses in it. And this radio... what's causing a little of the drain, but Ralph said it's not too much of a problem. Now you see the rear defogger, rear defroster, that stayed on at all times. This is the one that got came out of the um, analog dash, which means it's non-digital. This came out of the non-digital 1987 Regal dash that Steve Covington sent me. I'm gonna replace, I tested this with the, um, for continuity, with the multimeter. And um, it's perfectly fine. It actually gives a reading in ohms as well, um, and res with the resistance. But um, I'm gonna plug this in later and just see if that's causing any drain. And my switch that shows that the MSD 2AL two step is engaged. Now it's disengaged. Ralph said I'm running really rich. This carburetor's running really rich, Turbo Steve, so if you could please help me. <laughs> All right, it's not heated up yet. I, I wanna make sure I do everything correctly here.
take my fuel pressure drops when I put it in gear. Yeah, it does. Turbo Steve says that was embarrassing. <laughs> like that video, one of, I think it was my four videos ago where the car did not start. I thought it was out of gas when I was at Bob's garage. <laughs> Steve spoke to me over the phone and said, I saw that video. That was embarrassing. <laughs> but the video, but the car did start right after that video. It's just that my phone died. I couldn't record anything. So I called Joey Z2K right after that, you know, video of the car not starting with the motor running so that I would have a live witness as they hear that it did start up right after that video. but it's too cold. The car's not, it didn't heat up right. Take it easy, Oscar. Like six million dollar man used to tell Oscar Goldman, take it easy, Oscar. Don't, don't film me. I feel so silly. say that Ralph, the, um, the little amount of money he charged me for what he did, I'm running back to him and I suggest everyone that's been screwed by a mechanic or not, please go see Ralph. I concur. Yes. saying you know now after this video I'm gonna try my best not to say you know again you know <laughs> I just did it right after I damn can you get a shot of the GSX Buick Regal please I appreciate it all right thank God you're gonna take off like a rocket no, I'm not gonna take it off like a rocket. I don't think you can see me. You can see me in that thing? No. I wanna let the engine heat up correctly first before I do anything silly, you know? Okay.
AC Ralph. That's going correctly. You see what I mean? And Ralph's the man that's gonna take out this factory digital dash that I'm going to keep and try and sell it to someone. Um, and put the analog dash for me. see this this is the reading on the um, mechanical fuel pressure gauge now Ralph told me again I need to say that that um he said the carburetor is running extremely rich he said a lot of raw fuel is escaping so oh I see it's up to 180 I'm gonna monitor this I want to get out and make sure they on. but I think he said the fans come on at 180 
those windows. Mm -hmm. This car is over two decades old, so the um, the window guides, I need to get those so that my windows won't rattle. Later time, I just want the mechanicals, the drivetrain and everything reliable. That's what I want first. Mm -hmm. Engine temperature 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's good. Thank God. Reupholstered. Only one of the lights come on, Ralph said, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. Just that one. Oh, both come on. Oh, they do. Yeah. Nice. So this is going to be reupholstered and painted blue to match the dash, etc. Mm -hmm. And you see this? I'm going to go back to that. It was Larry Ashley. He did that. He did that and he broke my digital factory dash. I'm getting over it slowly. <laughs> this baby and count my blessings. Engine temperature remaining. Come on and focus. This is the new replacement phone, mind you. All right, 184, 185 degrees Fahrenheit. That's it. It's time to park. 